The United States is a friend of democracy in Zambia and around the world. As we've said many times, we do not take sides in Zambia's elections. We do not take sides. We never have and we never will. We have friends on all sides. We support a free, fair, transparent, and peaceful democratic process. Free, fair, transparent, peaceful. We support Zambia's democratic process. We do not take sides. U.S. government stands arm in arm with Zambian people and indeed all people around the world in working for and protecting democracy. We walk hand in hand in striving for the ideals of democratic freedoms that are laid out in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, the international covenants that guard our freedoms around the world. Zambia has signed on to these covenants, the United States, and all democracies around the world. The national elections that will occur on Thursday provide an opportunity for Zambians to have their say in how their countries run. Political parties and candidates are presenting their vision for Zambia. And at the end of the day, you, my Zambian friends, will decide on which vision wins, which candidate you want to support. This is a competitive election. And as we've seen in the United States, results can defy polling. We have seen media reports claiming one side or the other will win, but such polling does not guarantee how voters will freely vote on election day. So be skeptical about the polls you've seen. Voting depends on voters who have to travel to the polls, wait in line, and cast their ballots. Elections depend on turnout and dedication, as well as officials who are dedicated to democracy and upholding the democratic process and the will of the people. Now, there are a variety of ways that we support democracy and democracy defenders. These are the tools in our democracy toolkit. And that's why I'd like to talk with you today. The tools in our democracy toolkit. Broadly speaking, there are four categories of actions and programs that we engage in. Three, we have spoken about many times. One is private diplomacy with government and opposition, civil society and church organizations, among many others. We talk to everybody privately. Two, the public diplomacy that I'm engaged in with you today, talking to you as the media and the people of the country as part of a dialogue to highlight issues of concern and give support to the democratic process publicly. And three, U.S. funding in Congress.